I was about two years old, both my parents are ski instructors, my sister, my brother-in-law. I started ski racing when I was about five. And when I graduated college, I came back to skiing and started teaching. So I definitely recommend taking a lesson, even if it's just a short one. So I want to be able to have, you know, understand the basis of how to turn left and right, both ways. Turning is how we control our speed. Helmets are definitely a good idea. It isn't, like I said, just in case you fall, it's in case other people around you, you know, might run into you. Now, having a helmet on is just have a little extra protection. I would just say, you know, make sure you have the appropriate, not just equipment, making sure everything's nice and safe, but have the appropriate clothing. You really want to make sure you have that helmet. You want to have some type of eye protection. If it's not just goggles, have some sunglasses on, you know. Uh, make sure you have a nice winter coat so they stay nice and warm. Have gloves. Gloves are really important. So proper boot, you want to make sure that it fits nice and snug. Um, you want to make sure it has at least three or four buckles on it if you're an adult, right? Make sure it's nice and fits so when you lift your foot up, your heel doesn't come out of the heel pocket. You want to have it fit nice and snug. And if you have an old pair of skis from like, let's say, 10, 15 years ago, the binding might be a little too old. So always get them checked at a shop and make sure that they're still nice and safe and they're supposed to be doing what they are supposed to do. So you want to make sure if you fall when you're snowboarding or skiing that you resist that temptation to put the hand out and brace yourself because that's when you end up hurting this right here. When you fall, you want to try and use your whole body and just kind of lean into the fall and use your whole side right here and to absorb the impact instead of just that little pressure right on your wrist. People weren't meant to hibernate. We're not bears. We're supposed to be outside during the winter. Look, the sun's all out. It's a nice, warm, perfect day. You know, being outside, being active during the winter, that's a great way to stay healthy. You know, you get your kids involved early, that becomes a life passion for them, and they pass on their kids. You're just making everybody else, all the generations of your family, nice and healthy, you know. All those mountain men that look like they're 60, but they're actually 100, there's a reason for that, you know. It's not just the beard. It's because they're outside, active during the winter.